Beginning tonight right here in the capital city. For the past seven years, the city of Columbia has been working on a plan to make train crossings quieter. News 19's Rachel Ripp joins us in studio now to share what the process looks like tonight. Rachel, what's going on? Well, JR, in a meeting last night, local leaders explained they still need to secure $1.8 million worth of funding for the project, get $1.8 million of the state budget approved, and Columbia City Council needs to pass a vote in favor. All while this is only for the first quiet zone corridor of 11 total. Business owners and locals are used to hearing the sound of trains chugging through Columbia. The majority of the time it would be loud horn sounds or the train stopping to, at a complete stop to like a loud screeching sound. But some can't bear the noise. The city of Columbia says it's heard complaints and leaders are trying to do something about it. Constituents throughout the city were concerned about the train horn rule from 2005, which requires our, the trains as they uh, start coming in towards the intersection of road crossing to sound their horn within 15 to 20 seconds before they enter the actual road crossing. She tells News 19 the city has been working with Norfolk Southern, SCDOT, and the Federal Rail Administration to make 14 rail crossings from Gadsden Street to Beltline Boulevard quiet zones, meaning no train horn sounding, but extra safety measures implemented to make up for it. Each intersection, as far as uh, the city is concerned, will have upgrades for like uh, ADA mats and the, and the pedestrian sidewalks will be improved. Um, lots of updates to the MUTCD signage, uh, just making sure that both vehicle and pedestrians, all modes of transportation are alerted to the fact that the train won't be um, sounding their horn. Nearby business owners say they support it. I think it's a good thing for the people that the residents that stay by the train tracks that can't get any sleep at night, they got to wake up early or the students that got to study long time. I think if you've got cross arms on the railroad track that 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 eliminates a lot of the need for the noise. If everything goes as planned, Higgins says all the construction would take 18 to 24 months. According to city leaders, this quiet zone would also need to be maintained every year with a cost of $68,000. In studio, Rachel Ripp, News 19 WLTX. Rachel.